So now we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. First, select the Type tool, then type your text to the program window. Open the Essential Graphics tab, to customize the text line. Now mark all the text lines. Then under the Essential Graphics tab, click on Edit. And here I'm using Montserrat Light font. Increase the font size 150. Set the tracking 300. Then make it center by using the Align tool. And close the Essential Graphics tab. Then increase the text layer duration, around 10 seconds. Now move over to the Effects tab. And search for the Mirror effect. Apply this effect to the text layer. Now move over to the Effect Controls. Then under the Mirror effect. Set the Reflection Angle at 90 degrees. Then decrease the Reflection Center height, until the full text is gone. And make a keyframe on it. Then move the time indicator around 8 seconds. Now increase the reflection center height, so it's revealing the mirror clip and separating it from the original text. And make the last keyframe ease in, so it will make it more smooth. Now under the opacity, create a rectangle mask. Then adjust the mask to the top line. and set the mask feather around 50. Now let's see the preview. And this is already looking cool. Now add some blur on the mirror text. So make a new adjustment layer, then drag it to the timeline, and increase the adjustment layer duration. Now go to the effects tab, and search for Gaussian blur. Apply it to the adjustment layer, now move over to the Effect Controls tab. And set the blurriness 200. Then change the blur dimensions horizontal. Now make a rectangle mask. And adjust it to the mirror text, something like that. Then set the mask feather 20. Let's see the preview. Okay, it's perfect. Now I'm going to add a background video. Then select the text and adjustment layer, and nested these two layers. Now move the time indicator to the first frame, and select the nested clip. Then move over to the effect controls tab. Make a keyframe on the scale. Move the time indicator on the 8 seconds, and increase the scale size 10%. Then make the last keyframe ease in. And that's all, now let's see the final preview. And add some cool sound effects, to make it more cinematic. So that's it for today guys. I tried to recreate this animation from the Premiere Basics, if you enjoy this animation, please give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.